Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of BEW in Lockdown. I'm John Bishop and today I'm joined by my guest, Sassy Bear Clarence. How are you doing, Sassy Bear? I'm doing wonderfully fine, John. Wonderfully fine. Yes, that's very good to hear. How have you been coping in lockdown? Um, to start with, with lockdown, it has been quite tough to say the least, but I've found ways to bounce back and keep things on the up and up and as you know, we're mostly hibernating as bears as it is. So. Right, yeah. What kind of strategy do you do as a hibernating bear? Is there a fitness regime for hibernating um, bears? Well, for the most part, I tend to avoid as much people as possible during this. Um, That's a good plan. Sort of, That's a good plan. But for the most part, you know, walks particularly in the woods in yeah. a natural, comfortable little environment. Um, yeah, just a little, just walks down the woods and a bit of the old outdoor workouts as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've actually been getting into that. I mean, uh, you know, watching Joe Wicks. Uh, I also saw a little workout with uh, Alexa Bliss and Seamus. Oh, That's yes. Pretty good tips there. It was quite funny just to see Seamus struggling to keep up with Alexa. So <laughs> there's, there's comedy value there as well. Oh, yeah. Bless him. So I must ask you, uh, you know, what sort of things are you missing about shows right now? Um, uh, uh, there's a lot I'm missing about shows. Like, I usually enjoy, like, being able to make the travel, make the effort to get to the shows, as well as being able to perform for pretty much all my lovely surrounding the ring, really. Yeah. So you miss the, the camaraderie of the boys and girls oh, yeah. that you travel Absol with? And... Oh, yeah. Absolutely miss it. Yeah. Who are some of your travel buddies uh, when, you, when, you, when you travel to shows? Who do you count on most? Who um, do you be well, with the most? Well, um, there's quite a few people that I um, usually travel with, particularly shows. I usually, um, depending on the circumstances, I'm usually traveling with um, uh, the Hillway Heartbreakers uh, down to the shows. They're usually like good travel buddies. And I had travel on a couple of occasions with uh, Francis Drake. Oh, yeah. A lot of fans will know her from uh, Merton Abbey Mills last year. Yeah. She faced uh, Theodore Powers, an intergender, intergender bout. Uh, so oh, yeah. Very popular. And, and at the Caterham Festival, where she debuted. Uh, sort of an explorer type of character. So yeah, that's really probably a good way to... Well. Yeah, good way to describe her, actually, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, good crew there. You know... Uh, what are your thoughts on the Heartbreakers and their success? BW 24-7 tag uh, <laughs> Well, um, i got to give credit to the Heartbreakers for a tag team they've done tremendously well. They've got a lot of gold right now. Yeah, they, they all, every single time I see them, they're always collecting gold. It doesn't matter where they go. They're Dripping in gold. gold. Absolutely. Like, it could be just gold in, well, in England, Netherlands, Malta, whoever. They just will just always have gold on them no matter what. And obviously, I mean, you know, you have a uh, semi-regular tag team with Jonathan Sanctus. So yes. uh, I'm sure you probably relish your opportunity to face Heartbreakers at some point in the future, whether for tag gold or just well, to, if, to use the better well, if, well, if Sanctus is up for it and if he's willing to put as much effort into going after those titles as much as I am, then I'm all for it. Because you and the, uh, the Big Battle Royal in September... Yes. Uh, glory of the Empire with Jonathan Sanctus. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, how do you feel being that? What, what, how, does it, how do you feel in Battle Royals? You know, a pretty dangerous match. you got lots of limbs it's, flying everywhere, elbows, heads, not well, getting together. Well, as, well, well, as the rules go, particularly, yeah. I mean, I mean, granted, me and Sanctus were probably, you know, in a bit of a disadvantage considering there's other teams like gunning for the exact same goal that we're thriving for. And, you know, as I said, the only friend I had in that match was Sanctus. Everyone else... You were pretty new together, weren't you, as a team? Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Like, we were pretty new at that point. But we were milling. We were willing to make a, quite a big impression, particularly in British Empire Wrestling. And there were a ton of, like, tough tag teams within that division. I mean, you had um, Glamorous, uh, Roddy and Jack Quinn. Oh, yeah, and, the champions as, of time, yeah. Yeah, and previously mentioned Heavyweight Heartbreakers. And even... Uh, a couple of men that me and Sankers have been particularly in a tag team match on occasion, the Hammer Brothers. Two oh, they, they're pretty hard, heavy big, hitters, aren't they? Big, strong lads, particularly um, uh, Jack Hammer of that team. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nothing fancy there. Big brawlers. Absolutely not. Yeah. And then, who are some of your influences uh, that made you want to go into pro wrestling? Um, particularly, like? uh, well, I think there's two wrestlers I could think of that have kind of got me into pro wrestling. Uh, one being uh, Dr. Dev Steve Williams. And the other actually being Exotic Asian Street. Wow, and that's quite a different, a different spectrum of wrestlers to uh, exactly elite, yeah. uh, elements of you in both, I guess. Um, I would like to say so, yes. Because um, what how I like to view myself is basically, you know, have the sort of big, strong, sort of bear-like sort of hoss physique, Smaller, similar yeah. to yeah, similar to sort of Dr. Steve Williams. But then this is sort of layer of character and flamboyance and plumage, like Aiden Street, but also like Aiden Street, you know, when the going gets tough, Bear's got to get the claws out and get scratched and bite in every way. Yeah, he could wrestle. He could uh, certainly uh, handle himself. Absolutely. In that ring. And is there anyone uh, you're looking forward to uh, facing outside of lockdown? You, is there anyone uh, on your list, so to speak? Right. Um, well, to be honest, um, Anyone BW you'd like to face that's on, on the male roster? There is quite a few people, particularly on the BW roster, that I wouldn't mind facing. Um, as much as I look forward to clashing with the heavyweight heartbreakers for the tag gold, I am quite curious to work my way towards maybe even the BW heavyweight championship, which is currently held by Damien. Damien, another big man, another another. Oh big yeah, ball. he could do it all. He can. Fly around that ring. He can for, for a man of his size, around, he, can he can be quick when he wants to be. Oh, his chops resonate through uh, the arena. Mm -hmm. um, I remember uh, it was a battle roll in uh, February of last year. Uh, it was for the uh, it was the rumble in the tunnel, and it was him and the heavyweight heartbreakers. They were just chopping the hell out of each other. Three way chop fest. Uh, you know, big horse battle, smash mouth. And uh, that's what you expect from Damien. Oh, yeah. And I wouldn't expect anything less from Damien. So, yeah. Heartbreakers for the tag titles. I'd be up for that. Same with uh, Damien. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a bit of revenge on the Harrow Brothers as well. Yeah. I'd, I'd be up for that as well. And, you know, if something goes down the line, goes down the line um, there was that one uh, intergender match I had, particularly with Pretty Little Psycho, Shauna Reed. Oh, yes. Yes. Wouldn't mind getting some revenge on her. Yeah, she she came out on top on uh, that particular occasion. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so um, I mean, what I've noticed re recently that there's big men coming in. Uh, we've been in BW from Malta. Another guy I think might be quite a good uh, match up with you would be uh, Maltese Warrior or Johnny uh, Valletta. If it could make it happen, I'd be up for the challenge. Because he's in uh, all Japan now and making his mark in Japan. Is that somewhere you'd like to go? All, ja well, all Japan, well, all Japan, Japan. Yeah, ex exactly. And that's where I would say a lot of Dr. Death's best work came from, particularly is in like New Japan, all Japan. And Japan has been one of the few places I would love to wrestle in. So, yeah, if the opportunity did come around, it would be nice to wrestle up in Japan. And if it was anyone from all Japan, to challenge, I'd be up for that as well. Yeah, they've got some big, they've got big hosses now. The, the big men are sort of coming back into pro wrestling. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I, I remember the days of Kenny Kabashi and even big Stan Anson as well. Like those were some big freaking offices. Um, Scott Flash Norton, Vader, oh yeah, and Bam Bigelow. So many like hosses, and yeah, even now there are some very big hosses. That yeah, they got Mike do. Paro in all Japan now. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, no. It's all, yeah, he's not it's all, in all Japan. It's, yeah, my power in all Japan, he's got a partner. I think their team is called The End. Oh, um, uh, yes. Uh, I believe Janny's teaming up with a big guy called Zeus, who I'm not familiar with, but uh, big heavyweight teams teaming up, I understand, in all Japan. So uh, nice. they seem to be going back to the old basics of uh, what they used to uh, do in the 90s, uh, mm. seemingly. And well, uh, yeah. all the well, pandemic yeah, crowds seem to be going up. Yeah, I've always felt hosses, you know, they deserve a place in wrestling. And there has yeah. been a sort of a case where there's not much around. But I say, yeah, I'm more than happy to see them bring back. But I also like to see, like, hosses with a bit more to them. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think in the uh, the 2000s, you know, when it was mainly just WWE, only game in town, kind of all the big men were kind of all in the same mold, weren't they? Uh, yeah, kind of the just big, part, big yeah. bodybuilders didn't really do, move around and move around a lot. You didn't really have a Terry Gordy or or Steve Williams agile big man. Really, they were kind oh, of oh yeah, you know, standard, you know, bodybuilder types. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so yeah, you know, I'd, 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 you know love to great to see the resurgence of uh, big man wrestling. And I know uh, we spoke last time about uh, what happened with. Uh, Dr. Death Steve Williams and the way he left a mark on the UFC. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. The story is that uh, he was 265 pounds in the uh, amateur ranks Mm -hmm. and he had bigger wrestlers in the amateur ranks against him. They they couldn't uh, hand with him. They made 265 pound weight limit for high school amateur wrestling and that became the standard for many years and then when UFC was uh, taken off they realised that the uh, the standard weight limit for amateur wrestling was 265, and that's the, the qualifying limit to become a heavyweight in UFC. So he's made his nice. mark in MMA and pro wrestling. So uh, He certainly has. Certainly a guy to, uh, a good guy to uh, pattern yourself after. Mm-hmm. And uh, Adrian Street, a pioneer in his own way as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I recommend his book because he's got a book out there. Yes, I've been meaning to get around to reading that. I mean, I did see a documentary of his, which was a fantastic watch. Yeah, so great, you got a link with uh, some old, an old, old time, old school British wrestler. Oh, now, yeah. uh, Clarence, uh, where can we find you on social media? Any right, on, schools, any Twitter? Right, um, yes, in fact, um, I have a Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook that you can all catch me on. Um, Instagram, uh, be at uh, Clarence Sassy. Uh, Twitter will also be at Clarence Sassy. And I believe with Facebook, you can either search under Sassy Bear Clarence and it will come up, or basically at Sassy Bear Clarence. Brilliant. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it there. Give him a like, give him a follow on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. And, uh, you know, follow this, uh, this uh, colourful character. Great brawler, great uh, wrestler in British professional wrestling and in BEW. Clarence, thank you very much for uh, lending you our, your spare time uh, to chat with you. And uh, we hope to see you very soon down the road. I hope to be back in British Empire Wrestling as long as all this blows over. We can only hope. Sassy, thank you very much uh, for joining us at BEW in lockdown. Pleasure's mine. Thank you.